Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, it's me. Today is the Wednesday check-in. It is February 8th, 2023, and thanks for hanging out with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe and head on over to anchor.fm slash Hello Cupcake, it's me to follow along with the podcast and then go give the blog Hello Cupcake, it's me dot com some love. Oh, uh, so if you saw my short from yesterday, um, wow, if you haven't, let me just reiterate on what had happened yesterday. So, I, <laughs> I went to the hospital to go get some labs done, and, um, I'm sitting there, and I just got done checking in or whatever, and was headed to the labs, and I hear this huge, like, glass-shattering sound and somebody yelling from down the hallway there's a coyote in the hospital a fucking coyote got into the hospital guys <laughs> now if you've been following along with my channel for any length of time y'all know that I have a fear of coyotes and there's gonna be a lot of people that are like oh coyotes are more scared of you Brr, fuck you okay <laughs> Because this is a primal childhood fear. When I was like three or four years old, growing up in the deserts of Southern California, I was sitting in front of my front door with a, and it was the dead of summer, nighttime. A fucking coyote jumped through our screen door and tried to snag me. So there's no amount of rationalization trying to make that no longer a fear. I had nightmares for years and it's still like, you know, I'm going to be 42. I fucking hear coyotes outside. I lock my doors. I shut my windows. I pull my blinds. Like that's the level of fear that I have. I have a shotgun next to my fucking bed and I'm still scared of these sons of bitches. So, um, when I went around the corner and I saw the broken glass, the blood all over the glass, and the coyote on the other side of said glass, I freaked the fuck out. And I was just like, nope, not doing this. Nope, 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 nope. And I turned right back around and I got like some distance between me and where that coyote was. Um, there's like this glass courtyard and it busted through the window on there, hurt itself pretty bad, like it cut itself pretty decently. Um, and the only way to get back out of there was for it to um, go back out the way that it came, but um, it kind of just stayed off in the corner and like was bleeding or what have you. Uh, it was taken to a veterinarian clinic and is being stitched up and is going to be cared for. And then re-released into the area um, in a month or so. Or at least that's the plan so far from what I've gathered from um, other people who were there and know the situation like above and beyond when I left. So that was my morning. <laughs> and the whole time I was like, my spirit just kept telling me, go to McDonald's. Get yourself some breakfast, then go get your labs done later on this afternoon. And I was like, no, 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 I don't want to eat right now because me and my sister are getting ready to go have, uh, we're going to have lunch here in a little while. And um, I don't need to have like that many meals back to back or whatever. And I really didn't need the McDonald's or any of that other stuff. And um, so I was... <laughs> I talked myself out of it, and every time I don't listen to my spirit, something happens. Now, yeah, so I, I'm just going to leave it at that because I'm still kind of worked up over it. And it happened at like 9 or 10 o'clock yesterday, and I'm still like, uh, about it. Uh, so... Anyways, outside of that, um, trivia yesterday was meh. I kind of came I came home early. I didn't stay for the tiebreaker round. I was like, guys, I got to get home because I'm 
fucking tired. <clears throat> you know, I had that happen uh, in the morning, and then um, I was just on the go all day yesterday, and I only got, like, I got a decent amount of sleep, but it wasn't, like, really restful. So, um, yeah, I was just running on fumes, and I was like, guys, I've got to go. I'm sorry. I can't sit here any longer. But, um, uh, yeah. So that was exciting. And, um, uh, Monday had a really good time with, uh, doing my workouts so, and just hanging out with my new friends there. Uh, yesterday afternoon, after all that was said and done, I made an impromptu trip to the Dollar Tree with a friend of mine that I haven't hung out with for a while, so that was kind of nice, and, um, she took me, for, she took me out to lunch at, uh, Denny's, and I, I used to really love Denny's, but I'm finding that it's kind of lacking. Maybe it's just that location, but, um, I wasn't really all that impressed with it, and the prices have gone up kind kind like kind of a lot um one of my favorite dishes used to be moon's moon over my hammy and um i remember when that used to be like 7.99 and it's like 15 something now i'm just like um o okay but yeah so just had a really eventful day yesterday uh saturday after I did the uh, check-in video, I went and I hung out with my sister and her boyfriend. And I'm really bummed out. I lost one of my rings. Um, this ring that I lost is usually on my pinky finger. I've had that stupid ring for... God, probably a good 12, 13 years. And it wasn't anything special. It was just a plain silver band. Kind of... Well, this is like washed out, but kind of like that one there. But just a plain silver band, and um, the stories behind with that ring is like what really made it special. And the fact that I had it, like all the times that I went to California, I had it when my dad passed away. I had it when I went to um, our Alaska. I almost said Hawaii. I haven't been to Hawaii since the early '90s, but. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so just a lot of sentiment behind that ring. And, um, yeah, I'm just like, meh. Really sad that I lost it. And uh, this ring here, my big Thor's hammer ring, I had to get that, like, plastic stuff that tightens your ring up because <clears throat> I've lost a s enough weight that this ring has become very, very loose on me and um before this ring was really tight on me so i was like that's kind of freaking cool and awesome and uh this ring here is starting to get loose <clears throat> where it used to be really tight so i'm happy i'm really happy with how things are progressing <clears throat> Um, I don't know if I've actually lost any pounds, but I feel like I've lost inches because my pants aren't fitting me the same, my shirts aren't fitting me the same, <clears throat> and, um, you know, obviously my rings aren't fitting me the same. And I went and I got my, uh, results back from my labs that I did yesterday, and my A1C is, uh... 7.2 so that's come down some uh i think the last time i did my a1c it was 7.5 but it said that my average was like my average blood sugar was 168 so i'm really happy about that and i've been trying to really uh keep an eye on my blood sugar and make sure that i'm staying within range um, the other day i noticed that when i woke up i had a blood sugar of 49 and it didn't feel like a 49 blood sugar. Usually, uh, when my sugar is really low, I get really, like, my heart's racing, I get really hot, and, um, 
just have like this hot flash and the bottom of my feet start tingling and I feel dizzy and panicky. None of that. So <clears throat> I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that is not a new trend where I'm not going to be waking myself up from having low, bl low blood sugars um, because that's not a good thing. Uh, so, later on today, I have a virtual doctor's appointment with my urologist to talk about, um, like, the findings from the last cat, or the last x-ray that I did, and possibly if I have to go in and get new labs done for, um, a CT scan with contrast, which I think that they should have done in the first place, but whatever. And then I have, um my diabetic doctor check-in and then I have a podiatry and then I have my uh, primary so I like back-to-back -back doctor's appointments over the next four or five days or over the next week or two it's just like back-to-back back-to-back and um, I also got to make a phone call to see if I have reached my deductible when my de and if I have it when I should know to that my deductible is going to be reached and all that other stuff so that I can make yet another doctor's appointment. And so it's just appointments, 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 and the joys of getting older and trying to act actively take care of your health. But, um, you know doing the best I can with what I have available to me. That's the motto of my life. I I need that in a sampler hanging on the wall, like, you know, just next to my coat of arms, which at this point is, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what else is going on? Um, yeah, so outside of hanging out with my sister this weekend, uh, spent all day Sunday in bed, like, Sunday is becoming my day of rest where I just catch up on sleep, do my laundry, and just kind of exist. Uh, I also dusted off my apron strings on, uh, what was that, Friday? Friday or Sunday, I, I, di I dusted off my apron strings and I cooked myself a home-cooked meal from scratch and, um... I love to cook. I absolutely love to cook. I love experimenting with flavors. I love experimenting with recipes, taking traditional recipes and tweaking them. Um, and one of my newer passions is like taking food bank items and creating dishes using those items and making like just good meals from them and uh so that's what i did i made a tuna noodle casserole for like the first time in years and um i've been getting these little meatloafs from uh safeway and they come with a metal tray which is the perfect size for my air fryer and uh, I didn't have the regular, like, egg noodles that you're supposed to use for a chicken noodle casserole, but I had um, elbow macaroni, and I had two can yeah, I had two cans of tuna and one can of cream of mushroom soup. And so I was like, you know what, okay, I'm, I'm going to do the best I can with this. So I soaked the uh, noodles for a few minutes and kind of washed those and got... A lot of the starch off of it and then mixed everything together put it inside of that little pan wrapped it with foil and stuck it in my air fryer and um I didn't want to turn on my big oven just for a small little personal size dish of macaroni or not macaronis but uh, tuna noodle casserole and so I was like, okay, you know what? If this doesn't work out, then I have other options. I saved half the half the thing of elbow macaroni so that I could like make macaroni and cheese or something if I needed to. 
but um, it turned out really well. Uh, a little drier than I would have liked it, but good nonetheless. And then I also uh, made a little cake in my Instant Pot. So it was just kind of nice to have a home-cooked meal. Like, I make food every day, but it's been a very long time since I've actually just cooked from scratch and made a actual meal. So, yeah, that's been nice. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to let you go, and uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below, and make sure you go check out the podcast, anchor.fm slash Hello Cupcake, it's me. And until then, I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.